All right, welcome parents and students. Today we are going to take a look at how to create a Google Chrome browser for your student that is using only their PrincetonISD.net school Gmail account. This is going to help you to avoid all kinds of errors related to users and access to things in Google. So what we're going to need to do first of all to get this started is we're going to go up to the top here to the little picture for your little Google icon in the top right corner of your screen. We are going to click on that and we are going to add a person to this computer. So we can pick whatever one of these little things we want for now. It doesn't really matter. We are just going to put in a name here. Most important step is we need to make sure we check this create a desktop shortcut for this user. And this is going to work on Chromebooks. This is going to work on your PCs, all of that stuff. We want to create a separate desktop shortcut to launch the browser for only this account. So we hit OK there. And what we're going to do is we're going to pick sign in. And we're now going to enter our student's email address, and that should prompt us over to ClassLink. All right, so I entered my student email address there, and now I am was redirected to the ClassLink login page. So I'm going to enter it again here. And my password... All right, so I entered my login part without the at PrincetonISD.net on ClassLink. Then I entered my password. It's asking me if I want to save that. Sure, I do. And yes, I want to turn on sync. That way I'm pulling in all of the uh, information that's connected to my student's account. And it's going to be all in this browser here. That way we have consistency no matter where we log in at. All right, so you can see I've been prompted to add the information again. We just got to do it one more time. So after I added the email address there with the at PrincetonISD.net and hit OK, it's just confirming that I want to log in as that student. And it has now dropped me in a browser and I want to turn on sync again. Yes, I want to turn on sync so that I can connect all my information to this browser. All right, so we're going to test that out. I just closed out my browser window and I can see here on my desktop I've got my Google Chrome launch icon with the T for my test student account. So I'm going to drag that down and pin that on my start bar. And now I can launch it from there anytime I want. And when this browser pulls up, I will drag it over to the correct screen here. And you can see we are logged in with our student account here in both places. So we should have no conflict problems. And when I click my little Google icon here for my student account, we can see I have no other accounts connected to this browser session.